Okay, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the oxygen sensor readings and what you should expect. Um, first thing about oxygen sensors you have to understand is what is 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, what does that mean? The first number is going to represent the bank. Now in this particular Toyota, um, on the driver's side it's going to be bank 1 and the passenger side is going to be bank 2. Um, for instance, a Ford would be the opposite, a Chevy would be the same. So it just depends on the vehicle. You have to look that up. What what bank is what? Now on this particular vehicle, imagine if you would, right here on the driver floorboard, um, you're going to have a catalytic converter right below this. In front of that, you're going to have, this is all bank one. Over here on the passenger side, imagine underneath that floorboard, you got your other catalytic converter on the exhaust. That's all bank two running this way. So bank one over here, say you got your catalytic converter right here underneath the floorboard. In front of it, you'll have an auction sensor. That's going to be bank one, sensor one. Uh, behind it, you're going to have bank one, sensor two. And that's the one right below it here. Okay. Over here, obviously, we have bank two, sensor one, and sensor two. Okay, so let's take a look here. For bank one, sensor one, okay, the readings are going to switch. Now, if you look over here, the high reading is 0.9, the low reading is zero, okay, or nothing. Um, the closer to zero you are, that's lean, meaning too much air. Um, when you're up there at 90 or 0.9 of a volt, so nothing ever gets to one volt. 0.9 is usually the max. Um, you see her 9.6, that gets a little higher. The closer to one volt, that means more fuel. Your front oxygen sensor, the one before your catalytic converter, say here for bank one, that's the one in front, you want it to see it switching from lean to rich, lean to rich many times. Uh, the halfway point for lean and rich is 0.45. So you can see that's the average here. Now if we look here, you can see it going up and down, up and down. That's what you want to see for a front oxygen sensor. For the rear oxygen sensor, you want to see a steady voltage. But on this one here, this one's got issues. Look at that. It's down at 0 0.01 right now. Um, where you want to actually see this one maintain is somewhere right there. That's about, that's actually a little high, but... Um, this one down here was actually doing really good. Sensor 2 down here for bank 2 is where you want to see it. About 0 0.8, 0 0.7, staying on the richer side of things. So your front auction sensor, bank 1, sensor 1, you want to see it switching just like this one is, many times a second. Bank 2, sensor 1, same thing. You see how it switches, switches, switches. That's what you want to see. For your rear auction sensor, you want to see it steady for the most part, not switching at about 0 0.8, 0 0.7. So that's what a good rear O2 sensor looks like right here. Sensor 2 on bank 2. Now it gets a little crazy under here. When I was driving around, it got a little crazy. But overall, you want to see it right there. On the higher side of things, steady, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. The front one, if you see something like this, you see it go up when I hit the throttle. But other than that, it was down here, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.7. That's bad. Um, I know the sensor's working because I can see it did go up to 0.96 when I was on the gas, when I was putting a lot of air, you know, and fuel through the exhaust, but for the most part at cruising, it's down here really, really low when this one is actually having some activity when I'm different, you know, situations, gas or off the throttle, but this one is flat way too often. I'm going to look in this case for a leaking exhaust, something in the exhaust, uh, maybe a pinhole before the auction sensor letting air into the exhaust. We call that unmetered air because the sensors do not know it's there. The mass airflow did not pick that air on the way up in so it doesn't know where it's coming from. So it's gonna read lean. Okay so this is just a basic video here of how you want to see your auction sensor readings. Your front auction sensors you want to see them just like this switching many times. Your rear ones you want to see them maintaining this high voltage up here, not down like this. This is an issue for a rear O2, um, especially after the vehicle's warmed up. The sensor two, sen or, I'm sorry, bank two sensor one, that's a good reading here. Nice and switching, that's what we want to see. And then right here is also what we want to see for a rear O2 sensor. Okay, once the rear O2 sensor starts switching like this, uh, your catalytic converter is not doing a good job. It's failed at that point, and that is what will set on your catalytic converter code for a P0420. Once the computer picks up this kind of activity on a rear O2 sensor, where you see the 2 as a second number, that's going to trip your 420 code for your catalytic converter failure. 
As you can see, it's staying rich. It goes up pretty much steady. It doesn't come up and down, up and down too often. So it's not going to set that code for this vehicle. But in this case, I will look for some kind of exhaust leak, letting air in. And then again, I wouldn't replace the sensor, like I said, because I can tell it's working. It does go up here at times. So it is using its full range, but it's not where I want to see it you know, at cruising speeds, such as this one's a little better. Okay. So any questions, email me at mypeoplesgarage at gmail.com. This is just a quick video uh, for you know, beginners, amateurs. Uh, I didn't go too much in detail, but like I said, any particular questions, just go ahead and email me. Thank you.